Hi guys, so we're gonna take a deep dive into a challenging aspect of the clinical exam, and that's intervitreic clients. Specifically, we're gonna focus on a therapeutic model called task centered therapy, and we're gonna discuss how to approach studying this topic through a real life case example. So one, we're gonna talk about understanding task center therapy. Task center therapy is a short-term treatment where clients identify and work on specific problems in their lives. The emphasis is on problem solving through direct action, right? So key components of this therapy includes identifying problems, setting goals, developing tasks, and review of tasks. So I'm gonna give you a case example. Let's look at a hypothetical case of a client named John who struggles with social isolation. The first thing we're gonna do is identify his problem. In our case, John has identified his problem as social isolation. He feels disconnected from others and wants to increase his social interactions. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on setting goals. John and his therapist work together to set a goal, which is to increase his social engagement by joining a community group or activities. Developing tasks. So John and his therapist decide on tasks to achieve these goals. These might include researching local community groups, attending a local event, or initiating a conversation with a neighbor. The next thing we're going to do is review the task. In subsequent sessions, John and his therapist will review the tasks that they performed. They discuss the successes, some of the challenges, and ways to overcome any obstacles that would come up. So, by studying this real life application of task center therapy, you gain a deeper understanding of the concept, making it easier to recall and apply during the exam. Okay? So that's a very brief overview of task center therapy as part of the intervention with clients section on the clinical exam. I want you to remember that real life examples, they do help in their effective learning tool to get you to recall that information on the exam. Okay? So with that, that is our brief little review of how to use a theoretical concept and apply a real life example to make your studying more effective. All right, with that, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.